it's me, Maikin, and this time, pag-usapan natin kung paano isolve yung volume ng cone given its height, radius, and diameter. Pero bago yun, make sure na master ka na sa multiplication. Ibig sabihin, marunong ka na mag-multiply ng whole numbers, decimals, and fractions. Make sure din na marunong ka na mag-solve ng area ng circle. At kung gusto mo naman umabot dun sa difficult round natin, okay na okay kung marunong ka na mag-solve ng algebraic equations. Kung hindi pa, meron akong video dun sa my description box. Check the links. By the way, ang mag-subscribe ay bibigyan ni mommy ng shopping spree sa Lazada. Wow! At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay makakakain ng tinapay na may amag. <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo. Alam mo ba na maraming similarities o pinagkapareho ang pyramid at cone? Ang pyramid at ang cone ay parehong mayroong matulis na tuktok na tinatawag na apex. Pag nag-google ka, minsan ang tawag dyan vertex. Pareho lang yan. Pareho din ang pyramid at cone na mayroong flat surface sa ilalim. Ang tawag dyan, base. Yung pyramid, pwedeng iba't ibang shapes yung base. Tulad ngayon, isa siyang square na pyramid. Pwede ring rectangular na pyramid, triangular, o kahit pentagonal. Pero pag cone, Laging bilog ang base niyan or circular. Ang pyramid at ang cone ay pareho ding merong height. Ang height ay ang distance mula sa apex papunta sa base. Mahalaga palang tandaan na ang height ay laging perpendicular sa base. Bukod dito, pareho din silang merong slanting height. At handa ka na ba sa pinakamatindi nilang pagkakapareho? Ang formula to solve for the volume of the pyramid ay V equals 1 third BH or volume equals 1 third times area of the base times height. Ganon din ang cone. Pero dahil lang area of the base ng ating cone ay circle, we can change this to pi r squared. Tara! Try natin. Let us find the volume of the cone and use pi equals 3.14. So, simulan natin sa ating formula na V equals 1 third pi r squared h or V equals 1 third times pi times radius squared times height. So, bring down natin yung V equals 1 third. Yung pi naman ay 3.14. Then, yung ating radius ay 5. At dahil radius squared, dapat ang isulat natin ay 5 squared. Huwag kakalimutan yung squared ha. Yung height naman natin ay 12. Dahil yung 13 ay isang slanting height. So, sulat din natin dito 12. Then, remember, kailangan natin unang isimplify yung may exponent. So, yung 5 squared. So, magiging V equals 1 third times 3.14 times 25 times 12. At dahil yung 1 third at 12 ay pwedeng isimplify, so pwede natin gawin tong 1 at 4. So pag nire-write, magiging V equals 1 times 3.14 times 25 times 4. Then remember, because of identity property of multiplication, pwede yung i-cancel na natin yung 1. So ito na lang yung matitira, yung 3.14 times 25, times 4. Personally, mas gusto kong unahing i-multiply yung 25 at 4. Bakit ka mo? Kasi ayoko nagmumultiply ng may decimals. Para sa akin, mas madali kung whole numbers muna. So, multiply natin magiging 3.14 times 100. And then, pag minultiply ulit, magiging V equals 314. At dahil centimeters ang ating unit of measurement, Remember, centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, then equals cubic centimeters. So, our volume for this cone is 314 cubic centimeters. Isa pa, let us find the volume of this cone. So, simulan natin ulit sa ating formulang V 
equals 1 third pi r squared h or v equals 1 third times pi times radius squared times height. Again, bring down natin yung v at 1 third. Yung pi naman ay 3.14. Ang ating radius ay 7. Tama. So, ang isusulat ay 7 squared. Huwag na huwag niyong kakalimutan yung squared ha, kasi pag wala yan, mali na lahat ng sagot mo. Next, yung height naman ay 24. Dahil yung 25 ay isang slanting height. So, next, isisimplify natin itong exponent. Magiging v equals 1 third times 3.14 times 49 times 24. Then, we can simplify 1 third and 24. So, magiging 1 at 8. Tama. So, rewrite natin. V equals 1 times 3.14 times 49 times 8. Again, pwede na natin i-disregard yung 1 dyan. At ako, personally, gusto kong unahin yung 49 times 8. So, magiging V equals 3.14 times 392 or v equals 1230.88 at wag kakalimutan yung ating unit of measurement so cubic inches our volume is 1230.88 cubic inches hirapan natin ng slide slide lang naman so again we have to find the volume of this cone let us have our formula v equals 1 third pi r squared h or v equals 1 third times pi times radius squared times height. So again, bring down natin yung v equals 1 third. Yung pi naman natin ay 3.14. Pero tingnang mabuti. Yung 8 feet dito ay isang diameter. Ang kailangan natin ay radius. So, therefore, kailangan muna nating isolve yung value ng radius. Pag sinabing radius, yan ay kalahati ng diameter. So, ano ba yung half ng 8? Yes, 4. Therefore, our radius is 4 feet. So, pag ang sinulat mo rito ay 8 squared, yan ay mali. Dahil yung 8 ay diameter. Dapat, ang isusulat natin ay 4 squared. Ayan, tama na. Then, let's proceed. Ang ating height ay 3 feet. Dahil yung 5 again ay isang slanting height. Then, let's simplify the exponent. So, magiging v equals 1 third times 3.14 times 16 times 3. Then, simplify yung merong fraction. So, magiging 1 at 1. Then, V is equal to 1 times 3.14 times 16 times 1. Or, 50.24. At dahil may feet dito, ang ating volume ay cubic feet. So, the volume of this cone is 50.24 cubic feet. Nagets ba? Try tayo ulit ng similar na problem. So, let us find the volume of this cone. Again, Let's have our formula. Dapat by now, memorize na yan, ha? Then, let us bring down V and 1 third. Tapos yung pi, 3.14. Dapat memorize na rin yung value ng pi by now. Tapos, yung ating radius ay hindi ulit given. Dahil yung 16 ay isang diameter. So, ano ba yung half ng 16? Yes, 8. Therefore, our radius is 8. So, sulat natin dito, 8 squared. Yung height naman natin ay 15. Dahil yung 17 ay slanting height. So, let's proceed by simplifying the exponent. We will get V equals 1 third times 3.14 times 64 times 15. Tapos, we can simplify yung 15 tsaka 1 third. So, magiging... 1 and 5. So, therefore, pag nire-write natin yan, magiging V equals 1 times 3.14 times 64 times 5. Remember, pwede na natin i-chapwera yung 1. At ako, 
personal na preference ko, gusto kong unahin yung walang decimals or yung whole numbers. Pero kung gusto nyo i-multiply agad dun yung 3.14 tsaka 64, walang problema dyan. So, magiging V equals 3.14 times 320. Or, V equals 1,004.8. Pero teka, walang unit of measurement dito. Pag ganyan, pwede ngang isulat lang ay cubic units or CU units for short. So, therefore, the volume of this cone is 1,004.8 cubic units. Ready ka na ba sa pang master na level? Let us find the height of this cone. So, intindihin muna natin yung problem. Kung dati, ang hinahanap natin or sinasolve natin ay yung volume, this time, given na yung volume which is 12 cubic centimeters. Given na rin yung radius na 6 centimeters. Ang kailangan nating isolve ay yung height. So, kahit height na yung sinosolve natin, same rin yung formula na gagamitin natin. Pero, dahil given na yung volume, hindi na natin kailangang i-bring down yung V. Instead, ang isusulat na natin ay 12. Then, we can now bring down 1 third. Yung pi natin ay 3.14 pa rin. At yung radius ay 6. So, let us write 6 squared. Yung height naman natin ay unknown. So, let us write h. Then, let us simplify our exponent. So, magiging 12 equals 1 third times 3.14 times 36 times h. Then, we can also simplify 1 third and 36. So, magiging 1 at 12. Pag nire-write natin yan, 12 equals 1 times 3.14 times 12 times h. Then, remember, pwede nang i-echap vera tong 1. So, we need to solve for h. Ibig sabihin, asungot itong 3.14 times 12. Kailangan siyang mawala. To do that, we can divide both sides by 3.14 times 12. Pag ginawa natin yan, makakancel na itong 12 on our left-hand side at makakancel din yung 3.14 at 12 on the right hand side. So, magiging 1 over 3.14 equals h. Pag sinimplify mo yan, magiging 0 0.318. At dahil centimeters yung ating unit of measurement, we can write here centimeters. Therefore, the height of this cone is 0 0.318 centimeters. Try it! Tingnan natin kung kaya mo nang mag-solve on your own. So, pause this video and find the volume of the cone. Pagtapos ka na, play mo ulit itong video to check if your answer is correct. So, simulan natin sa ating formula na V equals 1 third pi R squared H or V equals 1 third times pi times radius squared times height. So, bring down natin yung V at 1 third. Yung pi natin ay 3.14 at yung radius ay 10. So, sulat natin 10 squared. Yung height naman ay 24. Dahil yung 26 ay slanting height. Sana hindi ka nagpalito dito ha. Then, let us simplify the exponent. Magiging V equals 1 third times 3.14 times 100 times 24. Then, maghanap ng pwedeng isimplify sa 1 third. Tama, yung 24. So, magiging 1 at 8. Pag nire-write natin, V equals 1 times 3.14 times 100 times 8. Then again, personal preference ko. Uunahin natin yung 100 times 8. So, magiging V equals 3.14 times 800 dahil initsya pwera na natin yung 1. Multiplying further, we will get V equals 2,512. At dahil millimeters yung ating given, don't forget to write cubic millimeters. 
So, our volume is 2,512 cubic millimeters. Nagets mo ba? Ayos! Pause this video and find the volume of the cone. So, sulat natin yung ating formula. And then, bring down natin yung V at 1 third. Tapos yung pi ay 3.14. Tingnan mabuti, yung 12 ay isang diameter. Nakita mo rin ba yon? Kung sinulat mo na ang radius ay 6, well, tama ka. So, sulat natin dito 6 squared. Yung height naman ay 8 feet. Dahil yung 10 ay isang slanting height. Tama. So, let us simplify 6 squared. Magiging V equals 1 third times 3.14 times 36 times 8. Then, maghanap ng pwedeng isimplify kay 1 third. So, yung 36. So, magiging 1 at 12. Pag nire-write, that's V equals 1 times 3.14 times 12 times 8. Then, personal reference ko, 12 times 8 muna. So, magiging V equals 3.14 times 96. Or, V equals 301.44. At huwag kakalimutan yung ating unit of measurement. So, we have cubic feet. The volume of this cone is 301.44 cubic feet. Nagets mo rin ba? Kung oo, edi ikaw ay certified na matindi. Sana marami kang natutunan today. Marami pa tayong videos on volume so make sure to check them out. Till next time!